Merry Christmas everyone, happy holidays. So hopefully all of you who are watching have got some nice Christmas presents this year, unless you don't celebrate Christmas and decided to purchase, a, uh, purchase something anyway. So I was supposed to do this video yesterday, but unfortunately I was a bit too busy with family, um, obviously celebrating Christmas. But today I've come to show you some of my Christmas presents. There's not many of them hockey related today, but I have a few announcements just to make for next year. So without further ado, we shall start with an unusual present, but a useful one at that, but hockey related, I, I assure you. It's a cushion, yes. And it does say what you're seeing, eat, sleep, ice hockey. Now, for anyone who lives in American Canada, we call it ice hockey in England because we have field hockey because it's played more than ice hockey. Yes, field hockey played more in this country than ice hockey. Despite at the moment, the weather is not suitable for field hockey because, well, it's time of year. It's normally played in the summer. But obviously, ice hockey is played during the winter and autumn and early spring. So that's number one of three presents I'm going to show you. Number two... Um, is basically a hat. Yep, it wouldn't be Christmas without a New York Rangers hat. So this one is a Fanatics one. Yes, I know. Get over it. And it is a 2023 Stanley Cup playoffs one, even though we were in the first round, we were, we were eliminated by those pesky red and black and white jersey-wearing munchers from the New Jersey Devils. And yes, I hate them anyway. But what can you do? We lost in the first round, but obviously this season we're doing better than they are, which is a bonus this time round. Um, this one I've obviously asked for to go with the new third jersey, the old Rangers jersey, which at the moment I haven't purchased yet because I'm having problems trying to purchase it for once. Blame Fanatics, blame Adidas, blame everyone that isn't connected to, that is connected I should say to fanatics but that's another story in itself I don't want to get onto it right now uh, that was from my granddad that one uh, my mum's side of the family well my uncle had to buy it because my granddad doesn't know technology very well and the next one and probably my favourite of the hockey presents this year I finally have what I want in the New York Rangers this is the reverse retro 2.0 hat and it's an actual raised logo on a hat rather than that screen printed bag of crap that I had last time that I purchased myself. This is why the Fanatics pictures don't believe it until you've seen it in person really. This reverse retro 2.0 jersey uh, hat will go with my reverse retro 2.0 jersey that I've got. And look at that. It's got the logo shoulder logo patch on the hat as well. It is a Fanatics hat yet again, but what can I do? Fanatics are taking over for the next 10 years. The oh, sod. So there you go, that's all my Christmas presents, hockey related. The other, I did get some chocolates as usual, some money, and a few books on other subjects that I like, including soccer, or football as we call it here, and beer, because I do like a beer or two. So a few announcements to tidy up uh, before we go into the new year. I have purchased, as I said in my last video, another jersey. Um, or I didn't, I don't remember. It's been a while since I filmed a video. I've purchased, obviously, a jersey for um, going into next month, which should arrive in a few weeks. That is going to be another goalie team issue jersey from the NHL, but a rare one at that. And I've just recently, just yesterday, uh, purchased from a friend a modern classic jersey, even though it's still being used at the moment. But I think it will be a modern classic jersey. But in 20 years' time, we'll look back at it and go, do you know what? I like that. I didn't like it at the time, kind of thing. But, you know, it's one of them things. So those two jerseys, hopefully, should arrive soon. I believe the one I bought of my friend will arrive before the team-issued goalie jersey, the... 
one I've purchased from a friend is actually just a normal made in Indonesia Adidas jersey. So that's just what I'm going to say on that point. Um, into the new year, of course, at the moment, I will be hopefully taking a couple of trips across um, England, England and Scotland, possibly, uh, to watch some hockey. But at the moment, I haven't confirmed um, everything just yet because there's things behind the scenes I need to do. And obviously, there's supposed to be some card content, um, which I haven't done, unfortunately, due to uh, financial restraints and other factors at the moment. The problem is I just need to obviously start buying again because at some point we'll be seeing the 2023-24 uh, Series 2 Upper Deck Ice Hockey cards coming out soon. So that'll be another challenge to get because apparently all the boxes are literally pre-ordered and sold out already and they're going for over 300 US dollars. So that's going to be interesting. Right, so wherever you are guys in the world, Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad, Buon Natale. And have a happy new year and raise a glass to hockey, of course, and to those that basically you've lost in recent years. Just remember the good times at Christmas and remember those who have left us as well. So, guys, and the weather forecast at the moment in England is just as it was yesterday. Dull, cloudy, damp on the ground, has been raining and oddly not cold. It's a bit mild. But the most mildest Christmas day and Boxing Day I can remember for a long time. See you guys another day and hopefully a jersey will be arriving soon. <laughs>